Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ray. In today's screencast, I'm going to introduce you to a popular server-side Swift framework called Perfect. Perfect is an open source server-side Swift framework created by a startup called Perfectly Soft. Basically, Perfect lets you write web applications or web services using Swift. Perfect has all of the features you'd expect in a server-side Swift framework, like handling HTTP requests, dealing with JSON, templating, persistence, authentication, and more. At the time of making this screencast, Perfect has the most stars of any server-side Swift framework on GitHub, so I'm really excited to share it with you today. This screencast series has been sponsored by Perfectly Soft to help people get up to speed with Perfect as quickly as possible. And the quickest way to learn Perfect is to start using it, so let's dive right in. To use Perfect, you need to have Swift 3 installed. If you're on a Mac, all you need to do is download and run Xcode 8 and you're set. If you're on Linux, you need to install the Swift 3 toolchain first, and those steps are outlined on swift.org. In addition, if you're on Linux, you also have to install a few libraries that Perfect depends upon, which are outlined on perfect.org's Getting Started page here. Also, Perfect has provided a nice, easy-to-use install script for Linux users that combines these steps. Now, I'm on a Mac and I already have Swift 3 installed, so let's start by creating a command line Swift app that we'll eventually import Swift into. To do this, I'll create a directory called hello perfect. Then I'll use Swift Package Manager to initialize a new package of type executable. I'll then use Swift Package Manager to generate an Xcode project because I prefer to use Xcode as my IDE. I'll then open up the generated project, switch to the second target, and build and run. If I look at the console, I see that it printed hello world. This is because main.swift contains a print statement for hello world. Now that we have a working command line app, let's import perfect using Swift Package Manager to create our first perfect app. To do this, I'll open package.swift and add the required dependency for perfect. Then I'll switch to terminal and I'll use Swift Package Update to update my package dependencies, which behind the scenes will download the perfect packages. I'll also regenerate my Xcode project. To test that the package imported successfully, I'll open main.swift and import perfect lib, perfect HTTP, and perfect HTTP server. I'll do a quick build, and I don't have any errors, so the import worked okay. Next, let's set up perfect to be a basic web server that just serves local files. Back in terminal, I'll make a directory called webroot, and I'll create an empty file called hello.txt inside that directory, and I'll regenerate the Xcode project. I'll then open hello.txt and put some placeholder text in there just so we have a test file to return. Back in main.swift, I'll delete the print statement and I'll create a new perfect HTTP server using the built-in HTTP server class. I'll set the server's port to 8080 and set the root directory that the server serves files from to the web root directory that we just created. Then I'll try to start the server. This can throw exceptions, for example, if the port is already taken. So if there's any problem, I'll catch it and print out the error. Before I run this, I have to remember to set the working directory for the app to the correct path. To do this, I'll switch to the second target and click Edit Scheme. In Options, I'll set the working directory to the root directory of this project, the Hello Perfect directory. Now I'll build and run, and I see in the console that Perfect has started an HTTP server on port 8080. I can open a web browser and navigate to localhost 8080 slash hello.txt and see the file that we created earlier. Nice. At this point, we have a basic HTTP server working. This is great, but what we usually want to do is have a web request come in, call our own Swift code so that we can generate our own custom response. Perfect makes this really easy through the concept of routes. Basically, you need to do three things. First, you specify the HTTP method you want to handle, which can be like git or post, and then you pass in the path that you want to handle, like slash test, and then you pass in a handler or of code to execute. Let's try this out by creating a route that will execute some custom Swift code when you navigate to the index of our website. In main.swift, I'll create a new object called routes, which is a built-in class from Perfect that manages the routes for your web app. We'll use this to add a route that handles a git with the URI slash, which will match a git to the index of the web app. For the handler, we'll specify a closure that takes an HTTP request object and an HTTP response object as parameters. For now, we'll simply set the body of the response to a string of hello perfect and mark the response as completed. It's important to remember to call completed or the response won't be sent. Finally, I'll call add routes on the server, passing in my collection of routes. 
If we build and run and try this out in my web browser, it works. Now, often when you're writing a web API, you want to respond with JSON, and Perfect makes that extremely easy. We'll be returning JSON frequently in the rest of the screencast, so I'm going to create a helper method for this called return JSON message that takes a message to return and an HTTP response object. Inside, I'll set the body of the response again, but this time I'll use the JSON method instead of the string method like we did before. Basically, this allows you to pass in an object that conforms to JSON convertible. Perfect has already implemented JSON convertible on a lot of built-in Swift types like strings, ints, arrays, dictionaries, and so on, and you can also implement it on your own types. Here we'll just pass in a dictionary with the key message and the value, the string message that's passed in. Perfect also allows you to specify HTTP headers using the setHeader method, so we'll use that here to set the content type to application JSON. As always, we have to remember to mark the response as completed. And if there are any errors, we'll just return the error in the response instead. Now I'll try this out by creating a new route that handles a get to slash hello, and we'll simply call this helper method, passing in hello JSON as the message. If I build and run, and try this out on my web browser, we've got JSON. You can also nest paths by just putting one after the other like this, and here's what it looks like in the web browser. Also, you can configure paths that take parameters. For example, let's say we want to go to slash beers slash number and use whatever number of beers that the user passes into that URL as a parameter in our code. To do this, simply pass in your path as usual, but for any path you want to use as a parameter, put a variable name for that parameter surrounded by curly braces. Then inside your handler, you can pull that out in the URL variables property on the request. This is a string, so in this case, we'll cast it to an int, and if anything goes wrong, we'll fail with a bad request. Then we'll return a message using our parameter. If I build and run, I can pass the 99 beers and the web app generates a song for me. Cool. In addition to get request, Perfect can handle all the other HTTP methods like put, patch, delete, and so on. For example, you can simply set the method to post, pass in the path we want to run this on, and our closure as usual. To get a parameter passed in by the HTTP post, you can simply use the request.param method. I'll try accessing the main parameter here, and if it fails, I'll return an error instead. Now let's just return a message including this name and build and run. I'll use the rested app to test out the post and it works. Note that this only works if it's form encoded, not JSON encoded. You'd have to add some extra code to support JSON encoding with Perfect. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to create a basic Perfect app, how to handle Git and post HTTP requests, and how to configure Rally. There's a lot more to Perfect including deployment, template, persistence, and more. And I'll be covering these topics in future screencasts. So it would be perfect if you could keep an eye out for those. All right, I'm out.